The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. This passage is taken from Psalm 18 verse 2. And here we see David refer to his Lord, God as a rock. And our focus today is looking at Jesus being the rock of ages. Now, I can imagine some of you are humming the tune to the famous hymn, Rock of Ages, Cleft for Me. And as I began to prepare my reflection on this, I realised I wasn't entirely sure what this meant and what the author was trying to convey in his worship to God. So doing some research... I came across the following definition for that phrase, Rock of Ages. It says, An inexhaustible source of strength and support. I repeat again, An inexhaustible source of strength and support. At the moment in this world, we see so much change and turbulence. The last two years with Covid, things that were once easy and certain are now unknown and difficult. And sat here in my hotel room, I can certainly attest to that. But I'm sure everyone watching has their own stories to tell. Things are changing and seem out of our control. And yet we have a God who is our strength and support. And this strength and this support is inexhaustible. It means that even in our darkest of hours, when we cry out to God, we can draw on strength from him. We can turn to him and lift our voices in prayer. And as the song goes on, Rock of Ages, cleft for me, let me hide myself in thee. When you think of a rock, we think of a constant, something that is solid and cannot be moved. And the God that David is referring to in this passage thousands of years ago is the same God today. The same God who through David brought down the giant. He doesn't change. He is constant. And we can lean on him and hide in the knowledge that he is true and full of love and grace. And so maybe this Christmas, your plans aren't as you hoped. You're facing hardship or difficulty. Can I encourage you this morning to turn to God, our inexhaustible source of strength and support? Let's pray. Father God, we come to you this morning from so many different locations and situations. We thank you that you are the rock of ages and that regardless of our situation, you are there when we reach out to you in prayer. Amen.